I'm, I am very honored to be here with you. I'm very impressed by what you've done these last few days. And what you've done this, these last few days is to make a great noise that I know is heard in Washington, D.C., that I know will have repercussions. Um, I don't have a speech. I just want you to know that I am linking arms with you, and I will do everything I can to help you. We are going to have a hearing in the United States Congress on July 15th, and I'm hoping that I can show this film. And of course, I would love to have your leader there, and we will work very hard at trying to get the correct paperwork so that he can actually be there. It's a shame that he's not allowed to travel. It's a shame that his voice and your voices are not heard in a much clearer way. The fact that this has gone on for so long is shameful. As an American, I am ashamed of my own country and that we are continuing to give arms and aid to Pakistan to create murder. I will promise you this, that when I go back, I will get a few members of Congress, and I do have quite a few members of Congress who are friends, to introduce a piece of legislation that will require the State Department and the Department of Defense to account for the monies we give to Pakistan that are used to burn and rape villages for extrajudicial killing or torture. American taxpayers need to know that our funds are not harming one Baluch or Sin person. And we must demand this. This has been done before. I did this legislation on behalf of the Kurds in Turkey. And it's taken a while, but it's had a very good uh, impact in the long run. And I promise you that I will not be quiet. And I will demand that there is action. And I want to bring the voices, your voices, to Washington, D.C. and other capital cities. But I also want to bring the voices of the women, of the rich women. I want people to hear what they're going through, what they've gone through, how dire the situation is. I don't want you to be victimized. I want you to be proud, foolish, and send. I want you to be the people you were born to be, the people that you have, a, the Baruch have a history that goes back many, many years, and that's being denied by the Pakistani government, and indirectly, or directly, however you look at it, by the U.S. government. And the time for this is to change it now, and I promise you I will be there for you. Thank you. Thank you, madam. No, I